Alright, so today what I want to do is I want to go over something that I didn't even know existed until recently and it is basically a conversion for the Olin's electronic steering dampener to turn it into a manual steering dampener. If you have one of the electronic um, steering dampeners on your bike, you know that they don't tighten up fast enough or they're not as tight as they should be when you initially go to hit a bike and the front end gets slight. So what's happening is, um, on for instance, on this bike, brand new. When you go in and get on it, as the front end unloads, it gets super light. And then you start to go into a speed wobble, speed wobble, head shake, whatever you guys want to call it. But And then the steering dampener tightens up and it kind of gets it under control. Well, you don't really want that to even occur at all. So one way of doing that is putting a manual steering dampener on your bike. Right now, if you wanted to switch over to a manual, you got a couple options you can go, and this is one of them. Um, the other two are you can switch to a manual Olin's adapt um, steering dampener, but that's gonna run you about what four or five hundred bucks. Or you can switch to a GPR, a Sky steering stabilizer. All those options are like four or five hundred dollars. So another great option is this kit, and this kit is 110 pounds, I think it was, and I'll leave a link in the description for where I got it from. Um, the guy was actually pretty cool. He talked to me um, through email, sent me some um, a link to the, the YouTube video showing how to do this. And I will also put those links down in the bottom as well. So that way, you know, you guys can go and check it out and see if it's something that you want to do. And you can always convert this back. So if you look in here, so first thing we see is a little jar of oil. So you're going to have to put a little bit of this oil back in it when you pull the motor out of it, the steering dampener that is. So that's what this is for. Then we got the collar, which this collar is gonna replace, I think the one that's on it right now is plastic. So this one is gonna replace that. It's a nice little billet piece. It's got the little um, adjustment marks, if you can see them right here, plus or minus. And then of course, this is gonna tell you where it's set to. So we got that and then all right, and then we got this, uh, I'm not sure exactly what this piece is called, but this is like the little internal piston. This is what actually, um, when you go and twist the knob, this actually twists up or down to adjust. So you got this, and then it's got this little, I don't know, a little gel coating, whatever on it. I'm pretty sure you gotta take that off. And then of course, in this bag, we have the actual adjustment knob right here. As you can see, and he gives you these little pieces of um, double-sided tape, and that's to get the um, that's to get the OEM piece off because you have to pull down, hold it, and then twist the top to get the pin to line up to push the pin out. So that's why he gives you that. And then we should have underneath here, he gives you an Allen key, and he gives you a zip tie to zip tie the motor up when you take it out of the electronic one to zip tie it under the tank so you don't get a uh steering dampener light and then in here we got a spring and two ball bearings we only need one of the ball bearings but he includes two because they're so small and if you drop one of these you're probably not going to find it so what i want to do is right now i need to get the oem steering dampener off the bike and then i bring it back here to the table and we'll start disassembling it um, i'm not going to go over how to pull it off the bike because you can find those videos all over the internet and i know you guys don't want to sit here and, and see that you want to see how to replace it so that's what we're going to do all right so now that we got the dampener off the bike now what i want to do is like i said this little plastic piece right here this little collar if you notice see how i can pull it down so you gotta pull it down and then you gotta twist 
the motor until the pan aligns. All right, so look like look like I actually accidentally lined it up without paying attention, but as you can see, I lined it up. There's the pan right there, and oh. All right, so what you want to do is you want to try to hold this upright and then that's the motor uh, we are going to be putting this on the bike so we don't get an error code and then what you want to do is let's see here take take your little bottle oil just squeeze the tip to get some out and then fill this back up good enough all right so now that we got that out what we want to do is we want to take this little jelly coating off of here make sure you get all of it off all right and then we need our o-ring we're going to get a little bit of the oil off of here slide that over the edge if you notice i'm trying to hold this upright so i don't let any air get into it i don't have a vice so just got to make do with what i got right um okay doing this basically with one hand uh come on there we go all right so there we go so now that we got the o-ring on the end of the valve and we got it all cleaned up now what you want to do is you got these little grooves right here so you got to get that groove lined up with where the pin goes through um, so that you can put it back in uh, you are going to get some you're going to get some oil coming out of here and that's fine there we go like that and then just take this push it back through there we go all right now let's get a paper towel and wipe that off all right so now that we got that little valve in what you want to do is make sure it's turned all the way down and i think i'm pretty sure that if you got the pin all the way in then it's turned all the way down so once you do that then next thing you want to do is grab your spring which we kept from the original and then that goes down on top of it so once we get the valve in we want to put that spring back on and then if you didn't do it previous to this you want to test fit your base um and the reason you do that is because a lot of these dampeners are a little bit different size so if it doesn't go on like this one isn't going on what you got to do is um, on the inside of here you just need to go in and shave just a little bit off on both sides to make it so that it slides up and down in here because it has to be able to slide if it doesn't is it if it can't slide then it's not going to work the way it's supposed to so let me go ahead and shave a little bit off of here and get this to slide on um, the way it should and then we'll continue part of the video for whatever just disappeared but basically this was probably like an hour after the previous cut and basically what happened was so i followed the directions and that this collar that i got in my hand as you can see right now it slides up and down like it's supposed to but it took me about an hour to get it there because what happened was i shaved down the inside a little bit where the instructions said to do if it doesn't slide the way it's supposed to and that wasn't enough now not looking inside the collar noticing that it's got a little step point inside that the valve slides through that part needed to be shaved down as well well i didn't know that so i was shaving around the whole inside trying to free up space for it to slide and it just wasn't it, well, it kind of got better but it was still getting stuck at certain part at part of the way down so i realized that that step down area needed to be shaved down a little bit as well and once i did that it actually worked exactly the way it was supposed to work. The next thing that we need to do is we need to get the spring and the ball bearing out. So we're gonna take the spring out, 
the out of the bag and put it into the collar in this spot right here and then after you do that you can slide the collar back onto the steering dampener and then you can move on to the next point part of this which is you're going to take your ball bearing after this and put your ball bearing on top of the spring that you just put into the collar and then you're going to take your adjustment knob and you're going to put that put that on top and make sure you the, the little ball bearing is on top of the spring under that knob and then when you push it down use your allen key to tighten the, the adjustment knob down and that's pretty much it now that you got it all together you want to make sure your knob spins freely and it doesn't bind anything like that and then you want to take the shaft and you want to push it and pull it to make sure you don't have any dead spots if you have dead spots then you're gonna have to open it back up resurface it and get all the air out but as you can see everything worked out fine we're good so now let's get it put on the bike all right so for those that want to see or those that want to see so there's the motor from the OEM uh, electronic dampener and we got it plugged in. The only thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take it right down here, shove it in here, and then I'm gonna zip tie it. So we got the dampener motor right here, all zip tied up and stored away. That's where you wanna put it at. And then you just wanna put everything back together. And there we go. All done. Cleans up the, the front a little bit, not having a wire up there. But I'm gonna have to take the bike out and actually ride it to see if I like the feel of it. Because if it's not stiff enough, then I'm gonna have to go ahead and shell out the three, four, five hundred dollars, whatever it is, and get a, a top mounted stabilizer that I can put a little bit more pressure in. Sort of like the GPR that I got on my Jixxer. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show everybody this because I know a lot of people didn't know about it, especially since I didn't know about it. And this is something that could probably save a couple people some money. So yeah, quick little easy mod to do. Well, I wouldn't say quick and easy, but you know, not too bad of a mod that you can do to save some money. So, but just remember if you order this kit, that this main piece right here, this uh, collar, you're gonna have, you're gonna probably have to shave the inside of it down in order to, for it to be able to slide the way it's supposed to so just keep that in mind and like i said i have uh links down in the description for the install video from the guy i got it from and also the troubleshoot where he explains the whole shaving down part and then i also leave his email down at the bottom just in case anybody want to send him an email and order one so all right on to the next thing